Hi guys, Dave here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, Dave and Tiny, my cat. Uh, today we're going to be talking about V-Bits. Um, if you're new to CNC's and everything, you're going to be using V-Bits. So, we're going to talk a little bit about them because they come in different angles and sizes as you can see by these two examples here. So I'll try to explain where and when we use these. So stay tuned. This, this is the V-bits that I have right here. I've got an 18 degree, I've got a 30 degree, I've got a 60 degree, I've got a 90 degree that's 5 eighths diameter, I've got a 90 degree that's inch and a quarter diameter, and then I've got a 120 degree that's inch and a quarter diameter. Now, you ask yourself, what does all that mean? Okay guys, here's a little chart I made up showing each one of these bits, the 18, 30, 60, this is the 90 that's 5 eighths diameter, this is the 90 that's the inch and a quarter diameter, and this is the 120 degree V bit. Okay, and you see that I made these, it, it seems like, you know, when it, the bigger the V bit, the deeper it goes, and that's what they're for. You know, you can use this for shallow cuts, and then you can use this for your deeper cuts. Okay, so let me take you over here to the toolpath side, and I made toolpaths here to profile right on each one of these. Here I'm using a 60 degree, and I'm going to cut each one of these 50 thousandths deep, and I'm going to machine them on the vectors. So I'll click calculate. And then I'll preview all the two paths. Okay, once I've got all these tool paths previewed here, I want to show you here. Let me straighten it back up here. Let me go over. Okay, you see how the 18 degree bit bit, real fine detail. The star iron showed up good. The 30 one looked pretty good too. As you get into the 60, it gets a little bit wider here. Then you get the 90, and you notice the star iron looking a little bit different. Then this is the 90 that's that's inch and quarter wide, and then then you have the 120 here. You know, because the star it's a lot different. All these lettering is a, a single line font. So would you want to use a 120 degree V bit on a single line font? No, you don't. You want to use a smaller bit. So that's what the difference is. So I made me a little chart here and I'm fixing to show you. Okay, I've took each one of those bits and put it in my CNC and, and made me a little chart here and I'm going to hang it up close to my CNC so that I can, you know, kind of get an idea of what V-bit I want, need to run when I'm doing something. And you see in this chart here, and I've got the 18, 30, 60, and this is a 9 that's 5 8 diameter, this is a 9 uh, inch and a quarter diameter, and this is a 120 degree at, uh, with the inch and a quarter diameter. And as you notice, the bigger it is, the deeper you can go with it. And you can kind of see here on the side and everything. So the way it is, you know, if you're going to make the, um, like fine print and everything, you want to go with the smallest that you got. The 18 and 30, I think, would work good for it. Now, once you get up in the 60 degree V bit, you know, it's uh, bigger lettering. Uh, you know, you just have to choose, you just have to pick and choose. You know, if you've got the on uh, VCAR Pro or Vector Expire, uh, you can try them and get a preview of it and see what it's going to look like. Okay, guys, here's a, here's a few examples of where V-Bits come into play at. V-Bits like these right here, the 30, the 60, and even the 18 degree V-bit is good for doing lettering like these right here. 
you know, the the finer the letter, you know, the lower the angle we need to use on this to to get down to get the carve just right. Now the you know this in here has got a little bit bigger letter, but you do have some letter that's smaller here. You know this would a 90 degree V bit work good here, or uh, maybe a 60 or 30 would work better here. Uh, the sign down here, this some uh, Tennessee Vols. I used the bigger 90 degree V bit. Okay, my garage sign here I made. Now I made it with a 90 degree V bit, but this 120 degree V bit would have probably worked better for the garage part of it here because it, it cuts wider, deeper, and everything. Um, no, these are all V carved in. Now, this in here is standing up. And I used a 9 degree V bit on it and and pocketed out the rest of it with just a flat bit. It was just an end mill. So, you know, if you're going to be using the router, you're going to be using several different angles and everything. And it's just according to what you're going to do. Okay, I've got one more example here. I made this test pattern here. Uh, three forward signs here. This one here is just with a 1 8 inch flat end mill. This one here is with a 60 degree V bit with a 1 8 inch end mill. And this one's with a 90 degree V bit with a 1 8 inch end mill. So let me show you them up close. So here is the one with just a 1 8 inch end mill. And you see it's straight on the letter and everything. But it looks pretty good. But you done the 60 degree, you put a little bevel on it and everything. And it's showing up the details pretty good and everything. You notice the difference from the letter in here and the letter in here. Now this is the 90 degree VB. Now I like the bevel. It's got a bigger bevel and everything and it looks good. But as you can see here, you know, you have to either adjust on your vectors or you know use a different tool I mean so you know if you've got vector expired do the previews before you actually do the carving you see the R here and then the R right here so this is some examples you know I've got them lined up here with this is the 18 the 30 the 60 the 90 the other 90 and then 120 so, you know, I hope this helps out somebody, and thanks for watching, guys.